All right, bet. You gonna do it right now? All right, shit. My name is Zan, you watching Burning Roach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do it. What's your name? <coughs> uh, shit. My name is Zan. You know what I'm saying? From California. But you know, I've been out here for a minute, so I claim the A2. You know, A-Rays the nigga. So I guess you could say Atlanta too. Tight shit. Uh, what, uh, when did you come to Atlanta? From LA? Shit, like middle school, I want to say. Middle school, yeah, that was middle school. Like seventh grade, summer going to eighth. And then I moved out here and I was going to uh, a middle school called fucking Sandy Springs. I was living in like Sandy Springs, Georgia for a long ass time. From like middle school, most of my middle school years to high school to like now for real. And then I moved type of shit, but hell yeah. Uh, where did your name come from? Zan? Shit, all right, so Zan really my mom nickname. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna tell niggas her like government for real. But my real name is Azan, but Zan is in my name type shit, so like you know what I'm saying? But my boy T just really came up with his nickname Zan for real for real. Like nobody was calling me Zan ever until like Teezus was calling me that shit. And then that's when everybody started calling me that shit, and that shit just stuck for real, but... That shit really my mom nickname, and that's some shit my mom called me for real. So... And is your family supportive of what you got going on? Uh... A few. A few. I don't really... I'm not really, like, I'm a family person, but I don't really talk to everybody for real, like... Only people I really talk to for real be, like, my mom, a few cousins, and my little brother, so... Out of them, they support me all the way. My mom, she like my number one supporter. But everybody else, I mean, I guess they support it. They just gotta see some shit first, you know. You know how that go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Damn, when did you start like... making music? <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> when I was younger, I used to um, <coughs> I used to be in a fucking band and shit. And like I used to play instruments and shit, so I didn't pick up like producing and making beats on the computer and shit till like probably like 10, 11, because my uncle he produced and shit too, so he was making beats on FL, producing for niggas like Lil John. <coughs> and around the time it was a uh, <coughs> Atlanta duo called like Young Bloods. He used to produce for them too, so when I used to go hang out with my uncle, I used to just fuck around on his computer and shit. And then I think that following year, the next year after that, I ended up getting a laptop in FL. But I probably say I've been taking it serious though, since like freshman, sophomore year of high school. So that's probably what like going on probably like six or seven years now. What were your early influences? Like what were you listening to in high school? Shit. I was listening to everything, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause damn, like I said, you know, I'm from a California and shit, so I used to like when I came out here, like my sound and I guess like the genre of music I listen to kind of switched too. So shit, around that time I was probably listening to a lot of Young Thug, a lot of like Playboy Cardi back time, Uno the Activist, Chief Keef. Shit, I was, bro, everybody gang, like, rich, rich homie Quan, like, shit, like, Lil Wayne heavy, like, I ain't gonna lie, I was listening to everything, like, I listen, like, every type of music, bro, like, not even just rap, shit, I listen to rock bands and shit, too, so. Um, what do you think is the worst fashion trend going on? The worst fashion trend? I ain't gonna lie, it's a couple. I give you a couple, bro. Cause I'ma save mine first. I ain't gonna. Oh yeah, shit, shit. Their crop. Y'all gotta stop. Bring my twin in a bit. The crop, the 
baseball tee shit. That shit is so funny. Oh my god, no, you know what I hate now, bro? That's like and it ain't nothing wrong with the fucking how it look. It's just like everybody doing it. The fucking baggy ass jeans, Timberlands with the jersey shit, and the goddamn thermal under the shit. I don't know, that shit cool, but like, <laughs> What's that? I even you feel me? They'll wear the thermal under the under the big ass jersey, fat ass jeans and the Tims, uh, the goddamn Rick Owen Warriors. You know what I'm saying? That just like. I don't know, they gotta make everything rigged. To shoes, to socks, to pants. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that shit annoying. Yeah, fucking, uh, what else? These hoes that, that wear the fucking leggings with the socks, they took their leggings in the socks and wear the Crocs. I hate that shit too. Uh, that shit, crazy. That shit like, bro, I, shit, that's really it for real. That's the shit that really be blowing me. But, to each his own, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, like, be caring too much about what the fuck these niggas wearing. But that Rick Owen shit do be kind of like, damn, bro. Like, y'all fucking the shit up. Uh, what's a deal breaker for you, like, in a bitch? You can't get with <coughs> Deal breaker? If she's not clean. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Most, most women I've run into be clean. But if she's not clean, like, bad breath or a... She just smell weird. Like, I can't continue to talk to you. Like, Chip toenail polish. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It depend on where I'm meeting the shit at, gang. Cause like, <laughs> the cracked toenail polish is a deal breaker depending on where you at. Like, if we had the beach or some shit, you feel me? Your toes can't be cracked at the beach or like club, you open toe, no, like that's crazy, bitch. But I understand, like you tell me to, I leave, you tell, you tell me to pull up or some shit at the house, that's, that's different. But anywhere out in public, public, your shit, your toes crack, I understand the finger shit. Cause bitches be having like, some bitches be working in food or like they be vet, little doctor shits and shit, so they can't have nails, but them toes gotta be done. And they gotta be white too. None of that red shit. That should be looking like aunt. That should be looking like my auntie shit. I need straight white or the or the or the uh. What's the shit? What's the little clear shit with the with the the French the French tip motherfuckers? Yeah, I like this shit. I ain't gonna cap. Uh, do you have a funny high story? Funny high story. I ain't gonna. Lie, I got a lot of high stories. Funny high story? Damn, I got slick out a thing. Uh, oh. It was in high school. It was me. It was two niggas I used to be cool with, like some Mexican niggas. I ain't gonna say their names. But we used to, like, smoke weed all the time. This was, like, the Zan, you know, the Zan era. So this was like some little like, you know, white, little like white people party. You know how the white folks just go like real like chads and shit in that bitch. Like white girls drinking, wasted, like one of them type of parties, like the movies and shit. But we was doing this and <coughs> I think that night it's videos of me, but I got tased that night and I didn't feel it. Like I was off the Zen that hard. Like I wanted to try getting hit by a taser. So I think I got tased that night. The bro, bro, right? I don't, bro. Mind you, I was off of Zen, so I don't remember none of this shit. But looking at it, like the next day, that shit was pretty like funny. Like it was thrown off, bro. I think some of the homies was skinny dipping that night, like hoes and shit. Like that shit was crazy. That's probably the funniest like high story. But most of the time when I'm high, bro, I really just be chilling, bro. I don't be having no like. It don't be od funny. Niggas just be high. I got a lot of like, I got some scary high stories though. Tell me what you're doing. Scary high stories. All right, so my first time on shrooms, bro, or second time on shrooms. I took like, I took like a three five. This was my first time taking a three five. This wasn't my first time taking shrooms, but this is my first time taking a three five. So it's a pigeon. 
Oh, that nigga a spy, that nigga spying, you feel me? But, I think my friend had a free crib. He had like a whole bunch of shrooms. <coughs> Mind you, this was some shit that we was planning for like the whole week. <coughs> we like, we gonna go over his house. We gonna kick shit, get some weed, and you know, take shrooms and shit. Like a normal, like regular weekend, just get high type shit. But, I was the youngest in my friend group, so. And like, you know, this is my second time taking shrooms, so I wanted to try eighth for the first time. So they like, yeah, try the eighth, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna be cool. They letting me know all this cool shit, crazy shit. So we chilling. It's two, it's like how the house set up, it's two homies in the garage, and the rest of us is in the room, like in the living room, chilling. So we all high chilling on those rooms and shit, chilling. Like, I'm just waiting for this high to come. And the homie runs in the fucking, from the garage into the fucking living room panicking like, bro, 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 like, bro, like, it's bad, bro, passed out on the floor, he bleeding, all types of other shit. Mind you, we're tripping though, gang, so like, we, like, we see him panicking, and we slick like, you know how shrooms be like, shit be funny though, so like, we concerned, but like, I'm slick laughing, because like, I don't know, like the nigga panicking, but we over here like, damn, is he for real or is he laughing? So we go in the room, we go in the garage. This nigga's on the floor just like shaking, like shaking. And like, long story short, bro, he was like, he had fell in there and bumped his head on some shit. So he was bleeding a little bit, but he was like, I think he had went into like a, a seizure or some shit. I don't know, but, but I don't know if he was really on a seizure or if he was just tripping. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but that shit scared the fuck out of us. Cause as soon as we walked in the garage, like that nigga was like shaking, like. And then we poured water on his face and shit. And we we was young, so we wasn't trying to call no like parents or police. So we trying, we looking on YouTube and shit, like how to like, we giving this nigga water. We tell we like we put bro in the shower and shit. Like, bro was just tripping, but he ended up being straight. And I didn't do shoes for a minute after that, so like. For a long time, so like 17, 18 again, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, that shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. I thought we was gonna go to jail. I thought that nigga died or some shit. Like, we fucking did some crazy shit. We all young as fuck. We like 15, 16. Free crib game. Don't know what to do. Not supposed to, we got weed in the house, some more shit. But he ended up being straight. But that's probably my scariest high story, though. I, my most of my highs be like real chill, laid back. Yeah. That's the goal. And I don't do no, <coughs> I don't do no great, <coughs> crazy ass shit. To have no like <coughs> crazy ass trip or high, you know what I'm saying? Like I barely even do shrooms. I just smoke weed for real. So. So have you had any like near death experiences? Near death. <coughs> <coughs> Like, I felt like I was dead, dying, or about to die. Or like, maybe like a car wreck or something, like. Uh. You know, like, empty pit feeling in your stomach, or like, you're about to fall type shit? Oh, like that? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. One time, and mind you, I'm, I'm a car, I love cars, bro. Like, I love fast cars. I've been in cars and niggas drifting. I've been in, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas white line. I've never been scared of cars, like, anything going fast. You know what I'm saying? So this was like, I want to say like 2022 or 2023, me and uh, Southside Silhouette, that's my boy, shout, shout out my boy Eli, man, but we in LA, we was finna shoot a video, and I think it was, it was raining that day, like hard as fuck, so it was too many of us, <clears throat> long story short, me and Eli had to ride with another homie, or at the time he was like a friend, whatever the fuck. And everybody else rode with my friend Tag. So this nigga's like, all right, bro, last place to the last one to the hotel is gay or some other shit, and just swerves off like hard as fuck. So we ain't paying no mind about it. You know, he listening to music, bumping music and shit. Mind you, and I don't know, like, you been to LA? Okay, so the highways in LA, it's like, nigga, them shits, it be like six to seven lanes. Like, it be hella lanes, bro. Like, it's a wide ass highway. So we in the, we all the way in the left lane. He's speeding, like he's going like, he has to at least be going like 85 to 90 game. And it's fucking like raining hard. Like you can barely see. And it's like, you know, when you drive past, you see like water flying off niggas tires and shit. Like it's like that type of raining hard. 
So I'm not paying no mind to it. Like in my head, I'm like, damn, this nigga sleep tripping. Like it's raining, but like I'm not paying no mind. So I'm just looking straight, you know, on my phone. And then next thing you know, I just get like a, like you said, like a, like a stomach, like I've just dropped or about to fall or some shit. But like, it's like I, it was like, I was about to say, bro, chill, slow down, but it was stuck. And like, right when I felt like I was about to say it, we fucking hydro playing. We start going like that. We hydro playing from the left lane all the way to the right, bro, and smack the wall. But I didn't have my fucking seatbelt on, bro. So like, how the highway was like, it's like, nigga, it, bro, if I flew out the windshield, I would have flew off the highway, gang. I could have died, gang, like, dead ass, bro. Like, we smacked this shit, and next thing you know, like, we hit this shit, and it's just boom. And I open my eyes, and it's just, like, foggy in there. So I'm thinking the car's on fire, gang. It's just the airbag shit. I look back, Eli all, like, he's fucking, like, you know, dazed and shit, and he got, like, a cut on his head. So I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I'm thinking we damn near, like, I don't know what happened. I just know, I just bleak. And we hydroplane, and then I blink again, and we crash. And then next thing you know, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? But that was probably the scariest shot ever. Like, I only I only been in like three wrecks my whole life. And like the other two was just like some fender bender shit. But that shit was scary. Like I could have died again. Like I'm sitting passenger, and I had no seatbelt on, and we smacked the wall. And like how the car is, like I'm like it's like like this and this is the border so i'm facing like the side of the fucking highway like and my car door is stuck so i'm thinking the car is on fire my car door is stuck i'm dizzy and shit i'm trying to make sure bro straight in the back seat because like he dazed i don't think he had his seat on either because he had a cut on his face but yeah that shit was scary bro i ain't gonna lie Bro, what, bro? I appreciate fucking seatbelts more after that shit, gang. I wear a seatbelt every time now, gang. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I used to really just not really care about seatbelts because, like, I just to feel like whoever I'm getting the car with, I'm safe. Like, I know they ain't gonna fuck us up, so. But shit, bro. Do, do you wanna, do you wanna list any of your favorite artists that you've worked with so far? Ooh, hell yeah. Favorite artists? Yeah, that you've worked with. That I worked with? Diamond, Dior, um, favorite right now or just favorite in general? In general? In general? Shit, all right. So Diamond, Dior, um, Teasers. I ain't gonna lie. I, be, I like making shit with him too. Um, Shit, it's a big ass skate star, fucking Thrax. Shit, the list go on, bro. It really just the homies for real. Do you have any like big industry placements? Um, uh, I got Skepta and Skywater on some shit. Um, I got potential shit with Baby Sosa and Oryx. Um. But for the most part, like, I've sent shit out to a lot of artists. I just don't know if the song's out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Song's being made yet. But I've definitely sent shit to a lot of big artists, bro. A lot of big-ass names, so. And I'm talking with, like, you know, they management and all that shit, too, so. Shit gonna come soon. But for right now, I can name, like, Skepta, Skywater, Baby Sosa for right now. Uh, do you think that ign ignorance is truly bliss? Uh, it's a good ass question. What you think, Dami? What? You say you think ignorance is truly bliss. That's a good ass question. Um, sometimes the more you don't know, the better for you. <coughs> but mm, no, this shit could be. It should go both ways. That shit, I feel like it go both ways. Like I don't know. Some motherfuckers know everything and they still do wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know and you still, that's that's really bad. But you ignorant, you ignorant. It's like you was, like you don't know. Like, you know, so shit, fuck it. It is what it is. But I feel like being ignorant is knowing something, but you still choosing to do some shit. Am I wrong? That's just dumb as fuck. But is that not being ignorant, though? Hell no, ignorant is like, like, it's like you, you, you just got lack of knowledge, like. 
ignorant, you just like you don't know shit. Like, like that, that's that's the definition of ignorant. Like, yeah, I thought ignorant was just like you choosing not to know shit. Like you just a hard headed ass nigga. You can like also choose not to know things like instead of like not. You know, oh, you can choose to be ignorant for sure. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like it's motherfuckers that's like actually ignorant and this motherfuckers that choose to be like that like choose to be dumb as hell or choose to i ain't gonna say dumb as hell but choose to just not have knowledge of certain shit like they just don't want to know they don't want to be knowledgeable of shit so i guess yeah that shit can go both ways bro for real for real pain like physical all right i'm gonna break it down physical worst physical pain I ever felt <coughs> <coughs> when I was fucking <coughs> I was riding a skateboard Back in If niggas in the bay know that Y'all know in the bay They got hills like a motherfucker And I used to hill bomb shit on the skateboard I fell off that shit And like slid on my back one time That's probably the most painful shit I ever felt to my body I never got no surgeries or nothing So like And I never like OD broke a bone Like I fractured shit But I ain't never OD break no bone Worst emotional shit, bro. Probably, probably either a friend passing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When when both of my friends passed, they twins, Jordan and John, and they passed like it wasn't even a year apart from each other. I want to say like six months apart from each other. That was probably the toughest year for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's always hard. Like death is always hard, but. You go about it differently to, like you lose a family member that should have different hurt than losing a friend but even with a family member like i can't imagine losing my mom but i can't imagine losing my little brother too and that'll be a different hurt you feel me so for me i could just say losing my my two best friends that shit fucked me up and that's some shit i still cope with to this day so you know what i'm saying so it's that, different when you can't hang out with them anymore. bro it's different you can't Hey, talk, send a text, bro. Yeah. Call a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still t fucking, around that time, I used to talk to they peoples and shit. Like, that used to be fucked up. Like, talking to a nigga mama or sister about them, and they not even around, you feel me? So, like, that shit, that shit do hit different, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Oh. What is the best advice you ever got? Best advice I ever got? Control what you can control, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably the best advice I ever got, gang. And I got some good advice, but that's some shit motherfuckers say and for, forget about a lot. It's easy to, to try to control situations, just shit that, you know what I'm saying, you may want a certain outcome out of, but it's just not in your control. And that go with every, like, a lot of shit. So I say that for real, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Control what you can control and fucking keep the faith. It's hard to get discouraged and shit, too, and fucking want to give up and shit, too. What helps you keep going? Because like, I know sometimes <laughs> you, like, shit. you do so much and then it feels like there's no progress. For one... God, bro, that's the number one thing, bro. And I ain't super duper religious, bro, but I do believe in God and I do pray. You know what I'm saying? I do give thanks to that to him and shit. So God, number one, and, and probably my mom. Well, ain't no probably my mom for sure. She my rock, bro. Like she, like she, she used to tell me she used to know I was finna do this music shit before I even know. So it's like. <clears throat> I gotta do this for her. Not even just for me, you know? And then shit, my homies. That's really it, bro. God, my mama, and, and the bros. The real genuine bros. You know what I'm saying? The real, real genuine ones. That's like, that's been there. That's seen fucking my, my triumphs and my defeats. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... That shit help keep the ball going, too. Keep the ball rolling and shit. What do you think is the... <clears throat> for me or just in general like for people just overall, you know, and maybe, yeah. shit for worrying about another motherfucker yeah. worrying about what another motherfucker got going or what he got or what he doing can't can't and not even to say on some like 
hated or malice shit. Like, um, shit, you could just be shit. I'm an artist. That's it. Let's, let's, for example, me and all my friends, artists, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all pushing one thing, but we all our own artists, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard. Like, as a nigga that make beats, I got to slick stay in my own lane and shit, too. And not get too caught up in other motherfucking shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything going to happen. How it happen? Everybody working. You know? For other motherfuckers, shit. Motherfuckers be worrying about, like, another motherfucker numbers and what other people saying and all that other shit, bro. Like, just worrying about what another motherfucker doing and saying, bro, will derail the fuck out you. Like, literally. Focus on you. Stay with the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Stay down. Keep working. It's always gonna be motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, trying to get in your way and say shit. That's good and bad, though. I say just block all that shit out and just feel how you feel. You wanna do some shit, do that shit. Don't worry about nothing else. Stay in your own lane, don't worry about shit else. You would believe in ghosts? Ghosts? Hell yeah. Well, shit. Spirits and ghosts kinda the same shit. So I guess, yeah. Yeah, I believe it's, I had some spiritual encounters. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> all right, so, all right, I ain't never like see no ghosts, like see a ghost, but I know it was spiritual, like presence around type shit. So, my granddad passed a while back, and we used to always kick it at like my grandma's house, like the whole family cooking all that shit you know what i'm saying and around this time he had passed like i want to say a year ago we my grandma does not have none of his belongings none of that shit in the crib you feel me we all sitting in the in the, in the living room and i want to say like it was like a secret not like like everybody in the room caught on at the same time like it was me my uncle my little brother and my and my grandma or my and my aunt we just watching the movie and me and my dad and my uncle just look at each other like, you smelled that? Like, what the, like, that shit was crazy. Like, I damn just got teary out it. Like, that shit smelled like my grandpa out. And it, my grandpa out used to wear a certain cologne. Like, <coughs> and around this time, it was Thanksgiving. And that whole, like, couple days, we were just smelling that nigga sit around the entire house, like, randomly. So I'm like, shit, that's some spiritual shit. Like, I know that, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual shit real. But I ain't never see, like, no no picture fall or, like, you know, no paranormal activity ass shit. But shit like that, that spiritual present shit real, bro. That shit real as fuck. Good and bad. Hell yeah. Not like how people, like, the green Martian and black eye little shit. But an alien could look like me. Shit. An alien is just a motherfucker that's from another planet that ain't from here. Any that alien can be any goddamn thing, bro. Like, alien is real, bro. <laughs> alien is real as fuck. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You cannot, you 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 slick. You cannot believe we's the only beings in this motherfucking universe, gang. Like, ain't no way, ain't no way, a motherfucker can just be like, yeah, we the only thing that exists in this bitch. This shit too big, bro. Like, this shit too big, bro. It's other shit out there, gang. Shit, it's other shit roaming this bitch that ain't even from this shit, too. So, I shit. You feel me? Just like how we 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 flying out in space and going to other folks' shit. They doing the same shit to us, so. They're trying to tell us they're coming from the ocean. I ain't gonna lie. The, the real outer space, the real space might be the ocean, gang. We, we, know, we don't know... Yeah, I be thinking motherfuckers be having. I be thinking like motherfuckers be coming from outer space to the ocean to have a sex with the with the animals. Bro, they say it's still like what seventy five percent sea creatures, gang. They say it's still like what over over seventy five percent of the ocean we ain't even discover or or like nigga hell no. Nah. And we been on this bitch for how long? And we know everything about the goddamn stars and shit. We don't know shit about what's in that water. Wrote? Like music? I don't even write, bro. Hell no. Nah. That shit all off the top. You feel me? Just punching in shit. 
I want to start. I don't even know. I can't even tell you at the top of my head, bro. I just be, shit just be flowing. Shit just be coming out. I just, whatever come out, I just record that shit, keep it moving. That shit like a journal, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I want to start writing, though. I feel like I got a good-ass vocabulary. I couldn't really, like, write some crazy shit. Well, I'm gonna do it a little bit like, first before you get up. You can stand up. Oh, that went quiet, man! <laughs> what the fuck? You want me to stand up? You can stand up, boy. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? We go, Ricky, yo. Got them hysteric. Old-ass hysterics, you know? My boy B.O.K., shout out Luffy. That's my boy Luffy, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't got the jacket on. Oh, shit. Get my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They put the jacket on some, 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 some Japanese shit. <laughs> Feel me? Then I go, then I go, then I go, Kwan, come back. Kwan, come back. Then I go, then I go, OG, oh, nigga don't got this. We got the OG bag. Niggas don't got this. You know, we go, we go big bag. Snake and alligator skin. Just mix yeah. like pff, what? Hell yeah. Got them alligator ostrich pussy. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Armadillo back. <laughs> <coughs> Go get you one for real. Alright, we're good. Yeah. Same interview, man. I'll slick kind of like. Nervous. Slick. Just ran out of storage too. Now I'm finna do a piece. <laughs>